This is John Lamazdi, and tonight on beercritic.wordpress.com, we are reviewing Dogfish Head's Burton Baton, an oak aged imperial IPA. I've had this a few times, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I'd like to uh, shout out a special thanks to my friend Rob, who passed on this four pack to me um, for no other reason than. He just wanted to share some great beer. So, this one is for Rob, my buddy. Here is the bottle. And I think that unlike many other dogfish head brews, this one does an especially good version of labeling. Really, really nice job. Beautiful brew. Even on the outside of the bottle. And today, when we walk into a uh, craft beer outlet and we uh, look down the aisle and we see hundreds, if not thousands, of beers staring back at us, a really good looking label, I think of as pretty important. This one, incidentally, is 10% ABV, which definitely brings it into the imperial range. I personally can't wait to taste. So, I am, whoops, I'm pouring into a snifter because imperial styles, especially imperial IPAs, are certainly welcome to be put into snifters. Let's listen for the crack. There it is. A beautiful, brilliant, golden hue. A little bit darker than what I might expect from an IPA and much clearer and more brilliant than what you might expect from let's say a, um, a stout. And The head is bright white. Let's see if I can take some of the heat off that. Very, very nice. Bigger bubbles than I would typically expect from a great beer. Um, but it could be that it's just not especially fresh. I'm not really sure. You can see a lot of carbonation through there. We can see the other side of the glass as well. Lots of activity there in that deep red brew. Let's see if I can get a nice whole snifter shot. There it is. Very nice. Very nice to look at. You can already see some of the uh, Belgian lace starting to form. Let's check out the aroma. Boy, that is uh, definitely an Imperial IPA. The aroma is a deep, deep, sweet citrus, some coriander. Sweetness, 
syrupy sweetness. Um, if I didn't know better, I would think that this was a barley wine. I mean, it's really the uh, the sweetness is is nice, um, but because of the IPA style, I'm sure that's balanced in the bitterness. Very enticing aroma, like many many dogfish head brews. So, let's give it a taste. Wow. All of the are uh, the aromatic flavors are definitely present in the brew. But what is missing from the what's missing from the aroma that's very present in the flavor is an overwhelming bitterness. Really, really nice depth of bitterness. And um, a lot of resin. I mean, it's loaded with resin. Very long finish. The uh, head is quickly dissipating, but it is leaving some lice. It's very nice. The, the uh, body itself is brilliant, deep red, very nice to look at. Let's taste again. Wow. Delicious probably would benefit from pairing with uh, something very spicy, something with a lot of rich flavor, something with maybe gravy or a uh, peppery salsa, because it, it has a, um, a sweetness, a heaviness that would uh, start to counter the biting and uh, heat from something like that. But definitely recommend it for some pairings with some strong flavors. Um, it's amazing. Dogfish Head, thanks once again for another fantastic brew. Have a great night.